Hey guys, we'll be back again to this short uh, program video with P videos with OSP Pro. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to create a simple calculator uh, using what known as a, a C. So I have some friends of mine who happen to tell me that I make for them a video in C programming. I said fine, let me see how I can uh, make one for you guys since I made using other programming videos. Now let me share one of the videos, uh, one of the program, uh, the, the calculator that you're going to be making up very fast. So this is how the calculator works. Uh, the calculator is simply saying, do you want to do, what do you, what operation do you want to do? So if you press 1 and then you press enter, it will say enter first number. That implies in a simple term, you are trying to pick one for addition. So if the first number is 5, 4, and the second number is 6, I think you can see the answer is 10. I'm just asking, do you want to continue? Now let's see how, if you press Y, if you continue, to always just bring continue. So, let's make that calculator uh, format very fast. For any of you who is interested, please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. This video is going to be in Ugandan Developer and OSP Pro. Those are the main two channels I use for programming. So guys, anyone interested, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't uh, uh, get lost. So let's start. I'm going to be using uh, what known as Dev++. So I'm just going to open up my editor. So this is it. So I'll just go to Files, New, Source Files. And I'll just start by using what known as, uh, or using what known as uh, that hash include to call for the big processor directives. And it's a good practice to give some space there if you want. Uh, I mean something like this. If you want to make a space, you can make a space there. Or if you don't want, it's no problem. You can always make your program just within there. So this is going to be using for one as uh, standing for standard input, uh, standard input uh, output. And then this is for conio also for conio. I should include uh, conio. Dot h. And then I'll just say into main uh, void. I'll use void, or I'll use uh, into main void. There for this program, I'm not going to use another stuff there for this simple program of ours of today. So I'm using here return zero, whereby in a simple term I'm trying to tell the program that if there's an error, please return from a zero error and create my program turn every time turn up execute with a zero. Uh, error in it. So I'll just go and be. This is the simple C structure for C programming. So I'm just go and go to save. I'm going to files, save us. So I'm just going to save it in desktop. I'm just put in the desktop. I'm just going to create a new file. I'm just going to call it C calic. Uh, just that. That's the name I'm going to be giving it. C calic. 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 So that's the name I'm giving my program. So I'm going to just double click there and I'm going to just say maybe a uh, demo. So make sure you save it as uh, C, source files, so save. So inside this structure, we are going to be declaring some few stuff so that you can make our calculator uh, really work up. So one of the things that we are going to be handling at this point of time is by we opening actually to declare some of the stuff. So I'm going to say end n, where n is going to be the, the first, the, the number of times which I'll be using the program. And then I'll be saying the first uh, num. Since what I've been even using my previous programs, second num, and then I'll also declare one as answer, like that. So I already have all those pieces of code uh, within my single line. So if we try to cross check, we have to do some few stuffs. So for me here, I'm just going to use one on as uh, do while so that my programs I'll be using do while uh, loop and also one on as a switch. So I'll just simply say do. Whereby inside this do while, outside here, if this is a do while, here we shall be writing one as a while. Whereby that implies in a while here we shall be giving up a condition. So I'm not going to give any condition there at the moment, that's what so far I'm going to be giving up in my program. And otherwise here we should give a condition, but I'll show you shortly. So I'm just going to tell a program here that print f, whereby here I'm going to just maybe uh, what uh, operation. How would you like to do? So it's kind of a question. Uh, it's kind of a question. 
so I can just back it back up with backslash n like that so that that statement can always have uh, that kind of information like that so that implies this is going to be independent and is having backslash n uh, twice of them so that if I happen to come down here here of my program just going to say maybe uh, press let me use calculators or small press 1 for addition so I can also use the backslash n so that my statement can go to the next line n of other information should go to the next line let me just copy that little piece of code uh, this one I'm just going to paste it here so I'm just going to copy these two pieces of code so that we can always just use them continuously so since this is going to be the second number this is going to be the third one and this is the fourth one so enter maybe a two for subtraction uh, maybe enter three for multiplication and maybe enter four for a division I think members if you try to cross check this what the pieces of code I happen to enter and just underneath here I'm going to use another stuff called scanf whereby the scanf will be a simple term handling uh, what not as the number of times which operation would they like to use so that's what simply I'm going to simply handle in this piece of time down there so just let us do that for the stuff to do that my friends we just have to use one on a scanf whereby the scan f is going to be scanning the value from the user so here I'll just use percent %d and here I'll give a command I use and I maximize on the storage by using one as ampersand or logical and logical bit twist that's mainly bit twist for a so that I can increase on the storage for this because that's the number of times you'll be picking up this so that you can be increased up there so in a simple term if you have already picked that if I picked one what should happen you should all simply say that the please up I'm just going to say maybe enter enter maybe enter value for maybe first number so I'll also have backslash in there so then in simple terms telling the user enter the value for first number so you can always use scan f whereby here I'll be scanning the value for the first number but remember the first number is always this one here so I'm just going to copy that piece of code I come here I use logical one on us by percent D I come outside here I use one on us logical and with that so that I always actually increase on the storage so without wasting time since that's the same stuff we shall be continuing using it just copy those pieces of code and try to paste here down that implies I already have the first number enter value for 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 the first number or the first number the same applies here for the second number so this is our second number here a second number so that's it so I'll just change this one to second number which is this one here so you can always copy that uh, and I try to paste it around there uh, that's it I'm just trying to copy so that I don't do errors in this program so that I don't take a lot of time now right now if I try to compile I will get an error because I know my while loop I happen not to put any conditions I think yeah happen not to put anything and that's I can only sort down down here by opening up here and I use one on as a share whereby I can always use that one as an option 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 so that this option can always be taken care of care of here down so but I may not use it now at the moment because which what I'm to use I'll you I'll come up and show you guys later so this is the first number what you're going to be picking and or whatever you shall be picking will be recurring and outside here I'm going to use a switch just like I've said to you guys I'm going to be using a switch and what's going to be inside my switch is going to be that remember with the switch is going to be just depending on what determining uh, from the user what is that that the user wants inside the program to be uh, taken care of in a simple term I'm going to be using cases just as you know with the switch I'll be using case and I'll simply say that if that's the case I'm going to be using uh, what am I going to be basing on with this switch of ours here I'm just going to put some pieces of codes here down so that that pieces of code can take care of all my stuffs within the program 
let me explain for this piece of code so that you can make sure I brief everything. I've said answer. Answer is this very argument here. And I've said answer same as having first number plus second number, which for sure we already have there there. And this n is one which was determining the number picked by the user, either first or second number, which is going to be collected and it's called n, and then it's case one. So I'm just going to copy this case to compute for all what the number of times the program is moving down there. So this is going to be a case 2. So with the case 2, I'm just going to change this to 2 so that it can be uh, this 2. If it is this one, then the comp should you pick this information after then should you then come and compute uh, the second one. Whereby this one is same as having answer, same as having a uh, second number, first number minus second number. If that's it, so when you say the subtraction of the numbers is blah blah. So uh, subtraction of the numbers is that so always will be keeping percent because this one here is the same con uh, sum of element already picked from uh, the user here we should already find here up on the program so i'm not going to waste time my friends i'm just going to copy that also uh, or in fact i'm going to just copy all of this just copy all of this so that i don't confuse any of you copy that and then I happen to paste here down hmm. so that I have that so that just bring this here around here that's going to be 3 and then this is going to be 4 so that I can just simply change this one to division and then this is to multiplication uh, that's really great so I really have that but again we're using what known as uh, switch we have to get the default value which default value always in the switch is going to us uh, the default so just come and say the default, uh, the default value for it is always just a printout statement. Whereby for it, I'm just going to copy that, and I'm going to simply tell the program that uh, wrong user. I'll simply go and tell the program that wrong input or something like that. Wrong, uh, something like wrong input, wrong input. Just that. That's what I'm going to just simply telling the program around there. So if you try to compute at the moment, still if I try to compile this program, I expect to get an error because the stuff is not straightforward. So I expect an error. So to solve all those, those stuffs, I'm going to be handling my errors outside of this uh, kind of a switch. Just like I've said to you, come down of the program here and just try to uh, bring another print. So I'm just going to tell the ask a question uh, to the user whether in, in a simple term I just say maybe uh, do you want to continue continue so I'll have your y with n some question mark I'll also use backslash n there so that I expect the user to have that kind of stuff but remember at the end of the day I want this stuff of the program to be part of that so if someone presses a y that implies it's going to continue and if not, then it's not going to be. So here y is going to be having one known as a geisha. So here y is just going to be get, uh, get a character. So that's simply what I'm going to be specifying there in the program. And if that's y is same as getting uh, option is equal to getting character, then I'm going to just copy this very uh, option of ours, which is going to be around here. Just try to move one of these. If I try to bring that one down there, I'm just going to use here why because i'm strictly on y because y means yes and then no n means no that implies any other values will be always no and y always being yes so simply this was the condition that would want it to be in the part of the program and that's it so if i happen to compile the program here i hope there's no error there's no error check and find a print or oh, have some function called print not print f just check that very first print. I think you have seen one which was that or which is that. Let's just cross check that very fast. So far, if you check, there's no error. If you try to check the program and see what what operation you want to do. So that's good. So if I press one, as we enter the first number, it is three, enter the second number, it's four. I think you can see it's telling us addition of the numbers is seven which is very very correct but i did put here one on as backslash n so that this 
do you want to continue to be on the next new line otherwise if i press y i think you can see the program is working but just this is not organized can we place let's just try to arrange that by just coming after what known as inside uh, here we can always put a backslash n inside here so that each time we happen to pick any of the values there we are not concerned with their st statements we are, we are out of their statements otherwise so that we are unsafe in a simple term we are safe about their own conditions happen to be given there so in a simple term also you can also come down here of the program and also get a program by giving one of us a uh, get share whereby get share is going to clear whatever in the screen and they have a unique kind of program so if you try to cross check this is what i mean to you guys so if i press 4 for division and i say maybe 5 divide by 2 3 the answer is 1 and then it's also as you just there now next you want to continue if i press y it will be yes so if i happen to press 2 for subtraction and i press 4 maybe uh, well, that's 6 it's going to be negative 2 if i press n and i think if i happen to press n i think you can just see the program just exits so guys thanks for watching this video if not has helped you let me just show once more the codes as i'm winding up i said this is the first uh, variables i declare and then I happen to come back here and I call for one of uh, the operations or what what operation you want to pick in your program. Then I came down here and I just happened to use the scan f immediately and then I happen to come back down here and I happen to put the values using scan f. And then after then I happen to use one as a switch, which switch is handling the case which you would like maybe to pick in the program. Then later on I happen to end up my do while with this of condition. So this is a do while where the beginning and this is the end of the do while where outside the do while I happen to put a while loop. Where a while loop is equal to the value which you would like whenever it is pressed you should make the program to continue. At the end of the day that's what's the loop. So guys thanks for watching. Love you all.